Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Osmos. Osmos is a beautiful, dreamy, ambient game by Hemisphere Games. This video is meant to relax you, maybe help you meditate, or perhaps trigger some ASMR. Either way, we're going to be doing some relaxing gaming today. So go ahead and just lay back if you like, and relax while we play Osmos. I'm going to do the intro level here to see what the game is about. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Sir Isaac Newton. This is you. Propel yourself to the blue circle and come to a stop. We propel ourselves by putting the mouse cursor behind the little sphere, which is us, and gently pressing the button. When we do that, you can see that we propel just a little. If you hold it down, we go even further, but we're not there yet. We'll get to that in a moment. If you hold the button down for heavier propulsion, you'll eject more mass. Do you see that? The little balls come out of us, like little atoms. Some of them will get sucked back up, but most of them are just bobbing around. These are motes, which is what we are. Sort of like a cell or an atom. We must touch smaller motes to absorb them. If we go to the big ones too soon, they'll absorb us and we'll die. This game is so great to just relax with, play around with if you've had a stressful day. And there we are. We completed this cell. As you can see, we're in a very large world now. If we zoom out with the mouse wheel, we can see where we are in the field. We're quite small. There's many other larger moats around us. So we have to become the biggest. This will take a little bit of doing. I'm gonna start by just propelling myself a certain direction and hope to absorb the bigger moats that are in my way. We don't want to get too close to the ones that are bigger than us, or else we'll have to restart. A lot of this game is actually about patience. You don't want to go too fast or you'll waste all your propulsion. So a lot of it is just about drifting and letting things happen. As you see, we've completed that level. Let's go to the next one. So we have to become the biggest here, but now things are moving. So I'm just gonna wait and see what comes to me. There we go. I wanna propel myself this way and see what I get. This game has beautiful soundtrack, beautiful visuals. It's really wonderful. I missed that one, but I don't think I'll waste the propulsion to get it. We'll get this one now. Oh, we're at the end here, so let's go this way. Oh, no, we don't want to go that way. We'll be in trouble if we do. Maybe down? Let's try down. somewhere. We're getting big. We 
Use the bouncing to propel yourself without wasting any fuel or any moat. We're getting there now. Soon we'll be the biggest. Are we not the biggest yet? Oh no. That moat there is much bigger than us. We'll have to absorb more. There we are, we're complete. We'll go ahead and try the next level. Some of these actually get quite difficult. But it's not about being stressed or wondering if you're going to win or not. It's just about being. Letting things happen. Floating on an axis now, if you can see. This is a little tricky because we kind of have to go with the force of everything that's spinning. There we go. Let's see what's around us. Not much. This could be tricky. this way. You can't disappear, but you don't want to be too small for very long. Because other moats around you will absorb moats and then you won't have any chance of becoming larger if they're all bigger than you. Let's keep going. Let's see what we can absorb over here. too fast for my liking. Let's try this way. This game teaches you a lot of things that would actually be beneficial in your life, especially if you're stressed. Like to be patient, let things happen and come to you. Even if things seem like they'll never get there, they will over time. Now we're not getting that big, so let's move this way. Yeah, we want to get towards the middle. There'll be more for us to absorb there. dear. Let's try again. Yep, sometimes they can just be difficult. Let's try to get these right away. Sometimes you have to make a fast movement. If you do, just click the left mouse button a few times and you should be able to get the propulsion enough to get away. All right, we're doing better on this one. Sometimes you just need to try again. There we go. Floating in a vast world. So much beautiful space around us. There we are. We're getting quite big now. Let's get some of these. Sometimes you have to sacrifice a little bit of your size to get somewhere. So try to plan it out carefully. We're 
a good spot now because most everything around us is smaller than we are. So let's float a minute and see what we get. If you don't click the mouse button, you can float on endlessly without wasting any propulsion, at least until you hit something bigger than yourself. shows you what axis you're turning on. Let's try the next one. We have to absorb the repulsor. Now the repulsor is that bright red guy who's moving. Now he's already smaller than us, but the problem is, is there's big moats everywhere here, and we don't want to run into them. We have to chase that guy and get him while retaining our size and making sure that he doesn't get too big either. But to chase him, we're gonna have to waste propulsion. So we have to kind of think about this. I'm gonna get this one over here to ensure that I can get big enough to at least get some of these down here. If you do get sucked in by a larger moat, you have a chance to run away. But now we're in trouble. Because most everything is bigger than us. We can restart the level if it doesn't look good. Let's try that again. quickly get stuff here so we get bigger and faster. There we go. Sometimes the level is laid out perfectly for you, and then sometimes not. Whoa! Oh, Nelly. We were almost done for there. But it's okay. There's no real penalty if you fail. Just try again. Where is that guy? There he is. Let's go down this way. Let's see if we can get him. Nope, he's gonna run away. He's much faster than we are. The modes around us are getting large. That's not a good thing. But he doesn't look like he can absorb much either. So another strategy we can do instead of chasing him everywhere is really try to become the single biggest moat here. And then he really won't have a chance because eventually we'll get him. Oops. <laughs> didn't realize I was getting that small. Sometimes you have to be fast. You just have to know when to take your risks. Here we go. This is looking good. Oh dear, did you see that? It can change very fast. If you don't win, it's worth it to just enjoy the beautiful music in this game. I like it very much. Oh dear. That's alright. It's really not about winning or losing. 
becoming very serene. Rep. We'll just absorb these slowly as we go. There we are. That looks good. A little bit of propulsion to come up here. definitely the biggest thing here. So all we have to do is really gather up just enough to have enough propulsion to chase him. Which we could do easily if we were the, the grandest thing here and there was really no more moat. absorb a different one, the ovarium. Like the repulsor, the ovarium is also going to run away. It's a little bit smarter, so we have to take this a little more carefully. We're in a much bigger place now, as you can see. So this one is a little bit of a test of patience and speed, because the ovarium is going to quickly try to get larger. So we kind of have to do the same thing, but still kind of letting everything happen. Let's go this way. to run away and be a little smaller than it is to uh, get absorbed. You don't want to go too fast because as you've seen we can easily hurtle into a big one by accident. And sometimes they can come out of nowhere. Or sometimes when you're propulsing, they can become bigger than you before you even realized it. So we have to be careful there. Getting some of these on the outskirts might be useful. There's a big one right here. I don't want to get too close. spot because I have to propulse myself to get back this way. So let's see what we can do. There we are. Uh-oh. Do you see what I see? The ovarium is gigantic. We have to quickly get bigger than him. We have to hurry. He does also put out moats when he propulses, so that's good. If I can get this big one, we might be okay. There we go. And if I can get one of these, we might be good too. Perfect. Okay. 
There we are. Now the trick comes that we don't want to have to go too far to get to where them. Because we don't want to waste our size. It'll get small really quick. A good rule of thumb is to do that. Follow in his trail of moats, and then you should be able to get him. Here's another guy, the biophobe. Let's see if we can get him. If you get too frustrated and can't finish a level, that's okay. You can go back to one of the levels you already played, and you can keep playing it as long as you want to. Even after you've completed it. It's best to pick a big stage for that, maybe a, an axis stage or something, so that it doesn't run out of things to absorb. You could just be a cell floating along forever. Why not? If that's what relaxes you. Alright, we're in good shape. He's gonna run away, but I'm gonna stay fairly close this time and see what I can do. All the good moats seem to be over here for now, but he's getting to them, so we have to be careful. Maybe we can scare him away from these over here. There we go. chase or you can be passive about it and just try to get much bigger than it is. Get all the big moats so that he can't get them because they'll try. There we go. I don't think he stands a chance now but let's see. Things can always turn. You never know. You can also right click to slow down time like this. Sometimes that can help you guide your path if you're propulsing too fast or getting out of control. He's a lot quicker than we are when he's small. And as you can see, you can get small very fast when you're trying to go in a different direction. So now we kind of play the waiting game. We can see if he gets too close to us, or we can try to chase him. Either way could be a little dangerous. But he really doesn't have enough of anything right now to get bigger than me. So I might be able to corner him, if I'm lucky. There we go. Well done. Alright, that was our training. And here's where you can replay levels that you had before. And you unlock new stages as you go. The more you play, the more stages you unlock. You can try an infinite world, try to be the biggest, or you can just zoom out and float around the world. Playing 
these stages again because I really love the music. But if you want to go back to the menu, you can do that as well. You can go to the main menu. We've done the intro levels, ambient welcome, and ambient tour, which we haven't done yet. We've also completed artificial life. We can do survival of the fittest, force reception, which we completed, or force ascension. Let's try ambient tour. We have to become the biggest, but it'll be difficult this time. There's larger emotes everywhere and they're moving very fast. We're very small and have to do our best. Search for any ones that you can absorb and go for it. As you can see, we're getting into some trouble already. They're all so much bigger than we are. Doesn't look very good, does it? Sometimes this is life, though. Sometimes you just have to restart because you know you can't do it. That's all right, though. Let's go for some right away. But don't go too fast. You can get very fast with the double click, so do be careful. This is a tricky one. Not much around and I don't like the looks of them at all. Let's try again. Anything red, you cannot absorb. Anything blue outlined, you can. I see a cluster over here. Maybe we can get them. Nope. That was very close. We almost weren't big enough. But we made it. Some of these worlds are very active. It's a lot of motion. A lot of momentum. So you can either go with it or work against it if you're brave. I think a lot of the point of this game is to just go with it. Take risks. But not if the risks means dooming yourself. Here we go. We're still small. I see some that we can get in the middle. We're going to have to be quick and risky to get over there. Let's slow down time a little. See if we can get ourselves back to where we need to be. you can absorb and try to get there without wasting much propulsion. Sometimes another one will get there first. They're not really in a hurry. We have to be a little more in a hurry than they are. But sometimes it works out. See if I can get up enough propulsion to get over here. Brilliant. Alright, we have a better chance. 
This guy right here is going to be trouble for us. He's getting rather big. Let's stay away from him. Grab these guys. See what we can do. I'm not going to go back for that other guy. That would waste what we're trying to do here. Just let things happen. I know it looks bad close up, but if you look a little bit at the big picture, maybe you'll see that it's not so bad. You might feel small in a large world, but just like that you can grow and become something bigger. So don't be afraid to get out there and try to grow. Even if there's someone bigger than you, and there might always be someone bigger than you, you can still accomplish great things. It's not about competition. It's about reaching your goals. And just being. Don't you think it would be wonderful to just be? without any worries or hesitation. It'll take time. Most good things take a lot of time, but you'll find that things will come to you when the time is right. Thank you everyone for joining me. Let's play Osmos. I hope this helped you relax a little, and I do hope that you have a blessed day. Bye everybody.